Cote St. Luke is taking a proactive approach to the health of its residents. The city already offers programs to keep people physically fit, and now the city is focusing on the nutrition of its residents. Cote St. Luke has come out with an urban agriculture action plan built around municipal gardens and edible landscapes. Derek Conlon reports. Right now, Kerwin Park looks like, well, a park. But in a few months' time, the southern end will look a little more like this. The ground tilled and vegetables ripening in the sun. Urban agriculture right now is a trend that is sweeping across North America. It's all part of an urban agriculture initiative launched by the city of Cote St. Luke. Cote St. Luke eventually wants to set up eight public vegetable gardens in parks across the city. It's also setting up a farmer's market that will be open on Sundays through the summer and fall, all part of a master food plan. It's in order to try to get our residents to have healthier food and healthier lifestyles. For years, Cote St. Luke has promoted physical activity. But we haven't focused on the food aspect. So this year we're going to be introducing two new community gardens. We're going to be building a teaching garden behind the City Hall and Library. We're going to be offering courses in gardening to residents. Ideas that are going over well. I think it's a fantastic idea. Oh, I think it's a great idea. Eat, eat better and have local produce. The idea was the brainchild of Cote St. Luke's city manager. Right now, the plan is focusing on produce, but who knows whether backyard chickens might be in the future. So we're not looking at animals right now, but it's not a definite no. It's just one thing at a time. One of the more innovative ideas is an edible landscape. Vegetables grown among the city flowers and fruit trees on city streets, all there for the picking. All of us have probably gone apple picking in the eastern townships at one time or another. The goal is to bring that into our local urban environment as well. All part of building a healthier community. Derek Conlon, CTV News.